talking sports with the know it alls. This um the debut episode. This one. Um, it's your boy Jimmy. I got my boy Ralph. I got my boy Rodis. I got my boy Gio. So our topic today, we're gonna talk about the top 75. We're gonna pick five players that we think shouldn't be on there and who we will replace them with. And we're going to discuss this. So I got the first one. My first to go off will be Bill Walton. Um, he only had two good years. So I'm really not feeling Bill Walton. I think he get a lot of press because he went to UCLA. I think they uh, let him get his pub because they beat Philly and Dr. J. But two good years, I'm not feeling it. Uh, I think Derrick Rose had better years than Bill Walton, and he not on the top 50. So uh, <laughs> Bill Walton will be my first to go, uh, without without question. Um, I will replace Bill Walton with Dwight Howard. Um, his um, Orlando years alone put him top 75. Um, he was a dominating defensive player. He he was he was just dominant player, period. You know. So um those my two. Bill Walton gotta go. He get the boot. Um and I'ma add the White House. What you guys think? Go ahead, Ralph, what you think? I could agree with that. Uh the White Orlando stint was nothing less than Hall of Fame. Like the guy was dominant, he was one of the best big men in the league for that time frame. Bill Martin definitely <coughs> got over a lot with beating Dr. J and all, so. Over, right? Yeah, he and he was injured a, whew, a lot. All the time. So, I don't know. Bill Martin, I think it's the hype for him, especially UCLA Day. I think they really giving him more of his UCLA hype in the NBA, so that's probably why he's on that list. And then, you know, his commentating, the way he commentates. Mm -hmm. So, I think that's what really got him to that 75 list. But I definitely agree. I would, Dwight. Definitely over him any day of the week. No problem. Like, no think? question. What you think, Rodgers? Well, Bill Walton, uh, I've seen his later ten years, like with the Celtics. So, but yeah, injury prone. <laughs> I don't know really too much what he did. Just played with UCLA, but from from clips and highlights, the guy was kind of effective. And we're taking off Walton, but that's not from our era. So I really didn't get to see him play. Now, Dwight Howard, hands down, should be on that list. Hands down. But eight-time defensive player, just his whole body of work, the longevity of his career. People say he's soft, but who cares about his off-court antics? Definitely Dwight was going on. I told you that was my pick, too, to go on as okay. well. What you think, Gio? Uh, I like the concept they had where they, um, they had the top 50 uh, grandfather then. Okay. And add another 25 to the 25 years past that. So Bill Walton was good enough to make the top 50. I don't know. I'm not old enough to <laughs> to see him play or know. Like, I don't think he was good enough to make the top 50. But that's another <laughs> debate. <laughs> but like, I think I'm in agreement with everybody else though. Like Dwight Howard should be on this list though. Like the block champion. Even though like he, I, I kind of blame him for, in, for Derrick Rose injuries. But like. The rebounding was insane. The black shots were insane. That Orlando team was bananas. Okay. Um, all right, we're going we're gonna, to um, go through the round table. Everybody going to get a player who they're going to they uh, kick off. So I'm going to start with Ralph and work our way around. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we got one with Bill Walton. So, Ralph, who you got? Uh, Anthony Davis. A lot of Chicago people gonna be mad. Yeah, I know. You know, I mean, right you know, uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm a fan of Anthony Davis, but personally, uh, what if, I think he's too early for him. It's only his tenth year in the league. Uh, he need it's he's been injury prone the last about three four years. Uh, I think he's benefiting off of being in L.A. with Le LeBron hype. So I think uh, he's that's what's beneficial to him when he was in New Orleans. 26, 27 points a game, 12 rebounds, easily. But ever since then, it's been downhill for him, and it's sad. So I'm replacing him with Vince Carter. 
if you look at their body of work, yeah, Vince Carter played 90 years in the league. <laughs> He's been there forever. Yeah, yeah. But you compare his first 10 years to Anthony Davis' first 10 years strictly alone, Vince was a way better player. Like, Vince averaged 26, 27 points a game easily in his first 10 years playing with Toronto and playing with the New Jersey Nets. And it was making the playoffs. It made the playoffs on, on consecutively, like at least I want to say at least five or six years. And uh, once he left Toronto, and uh, only knock Vince might have had was he in the playoffs. He wasn't really that great a lot. He had yeah. he he had a young team, young Tracy McGrady with him, and all. He had Chris Bosh sparingly, but you know for the most part, I think VC takes the crown over him. Yeah, of course, if you look at their career stats, Vince got to play twenty years in the league. He only averaged 16 points, but his last 12, or was last eight years, he really was just a bench guy, coming right, off the bench, right. just being one of the guys, so I to speak. I get that. I get that. So, <clears throat> I think if you look at just their first 10 years and you put them together from Anthony Davis only been there 10 years now to his first 10, I think VC should have been on there, no question. And then his, the whole, how he put Toronto on the map, like how Toronto is now, they can't. It came it's from. Because of Vince. It's because of Vince. Like the it's whole impact. Drake impact and all so that coming came from Vince. You. Vince was like the second coming of Michael Jordan. Played just like Michael Jordan in terms of coming to the league, dunking on everybody. So I think Vince. Yeah, it's the talent of Mike, but the but the heart of Scotty. But that's another debate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, that's, <laughs> good, that's uh, another now uh, Scotty shot. <laughs> uh, Rodgers, what you think, brother? Who, who, who you got? And who you uh, gonna put on? Damian Lillard going, getting his jacket retold. Go. He's getting his Dang jacket. Dollar. One of my favorite players, retold. but, you know, I got you. I, I love got James. you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I mean, what has he accomplished besides rookie of the year? Erratic shooting. Doesn't take credit for anything. Blames other people. Look, Kobe. Look, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know. He, he swerved, though. He swerved, though. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> a little too, uh, yeah, I, I don't think, know about uh, that. I think uh, he just hasn't played long enough. There's so many other people deserving of getting on that list before him. Okay. I can honor that. I can honor that. So who would you uh, replace him with? Who your choice to replace him with? Another AD, Adrian Danley. My man. Adrian Danley, the body of work, the Notre longevity. Dame. Notre yeah. Dame's on. I got you. Two-time scoring champ. Another player. They used to give Scotty the business. AD. So he deserved right, it. Jimmy, top we, we die, uh, but that's oh, another, that's another <laughs> topic. That's man. another topic. We probably go all day about Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad, man. Uh, that's cold, man. But I'm, I'm with you. So what like, do y'all say about those two uh, inserts uh, put in? Uh, yeah, you don't have to talk about it. No, that's so, no problem. So, go ahead. As I said, what y'all think? The round table. I like. I, I always said we were talking about it earlier. I was saying, uh, Dane. I think it's early for him too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think they're giving a lot of them because of the marketing, definitely. or they're looking at it as, well, the future, they'll be on here. So, the next list, the hundred year list, they'll be on there. But we're just gonna put them on here for now. I mean, um, to, to be honest, I don't know if Dane. I don't know. They get to a hundred. They might not make it. So, you know, <laughs> they might. They might. They might. Uh, they might. Some you know, old young they might auto correct, incorrect, take them out of there. Yeah, you know. So I don't know. It might be some more kids that come out in the next ten years that yeah, I, might I, take I, Dame I, out of there. I, I mean, think. I mean, look how they did Dominique Wilkins in the first fifty. He wouldn't even. That was horrible. He should have been, been, been on there. He should have been on there. He should have been on there. But you know, that's another story too. But I mean, Dame. Bad part about it. He's faulting for the fact that you sitting in Portland. I mean, yeah, Clyde's on there, but. You you not making an impact Clyde made. They made right. it to the finals. Right, was twice. Yeah. Clyde was he had the whole hype coming out of Houston with Fly Summer Pajama, you know, so you not you don't have the same hype he had coming from a smaller school. He came from a bigger school at that time. Mm-hmm. And you up in Portland and it's just a small media market and he needs the A D treatment, sad to yeah. say. He and, needs the A D treatment. And he and needs to go to the Knicks or something. Y'all forget he was he he came at the end of a of a he came strong Portland run. at the end of a strong Portland definitely. run. He was part of the rebuild. So, yeah, like, definitely. you got to blame management for not being able to get a uh, contract to co- compliment him and CJ. Like, Look, not keeping Lamar. You had Dig, you had, uh, what's his name? Brandon Roy. It was Brandon Roy team. Then well, he came Brandon, Brandon Roy Roy's team. Brandon Roy had bad knees. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no cartilage. But when they lost Lamarcus, that hurt them. Yeah. And, 
Greg Oden getting hurt. Yeah, so true. those two things probably hurt him the most. Yeah, and then you got CJ McCullough who's the same height as you, and it does not. And you play in the West where your guard dominant a lot too, mm-hmm. and y'all too small. You got to get bigger, and also I would trade CJ McCullough if you had the who I'm gonna take. Can I murder that? I'm taking. I'm taking Damian, and I'm gonna yeah, trade but McCullough. But as far as career wise, like Roger say, I don't think Dame has did enough to warrant top seventy five. You top seventy five. Agreed. It's it's an impact you have to make, and uh, you know a lot of people put rings on it, but we put rings aside. Just I don't think his impact warrants no top seventy five. Not at all. I so agree. Gio, we gonna go to you. <laughs> well, I think we all in okay. unison with that, but at the same time, I feel like Anthony Davis has the stuff to be in this conversation. I mean, we could agree to disagree. I mean, no lit. I mean. Like, this is our the, opinion. The defensive player of the year, the rebounds, the blocks. I mean, he's doing what he, he's putting up numbers. I feel like, so, like I don't do. Okay. You got these high expectations, of Anthony Davis. But it's like, if this wasn't Anthony Davis, would would these just not same numbers still? Um, I still, even if it wasn't Anthony Davis, I don't think it would warrant. Like if Bam, I'm, I'm a buyer. I still, I, I still don't think it would warrant top 75 Not because yet. Chris Webber might have similar numbers mm-hmm. to AD, and he's nowhere near Mitchell. You get what I'm saying? So I think um, Anthony Davis is another one, almost like a, um, like a Dane. They're giving them their flowers before they really earn them. Absolutely. And, and I get it, and it's a marketing point too. But uh, that's another topic for another day. So, Gio, what, who do you? Who's your pick? Of who you would take off? Well, and put on. Y'all have some good cases. I think the most glaring one is Dane. But um, I'm going my petty bag, <laughs> and the person who stole my favorite player MVP and stole Tim Duncan's MVP, I yeah, believe, Steve Nash. Steve Nash. <laughs> Steve Nash. Talk about two good years. He never made it past, made it to the finals. Well, he had that one team standing in his way. Shout out Spurs, but I mean, I mean, <laughs> the man, the man had a good. He ran a good regular season team, but when it came down to it, he couldn't get past that hump. And I'd rather take you know person who's been there, who's doing the thing. Two-time champion, Paul Gasol. I'd rather have him. Now you lost. I'd rather him. Oh, wow. oh, oh, we got to get you drunk. Oh, wow. We got to get you drunk. I think you've been you know. drinking. I don't, oh, know wow. what, I don't know what you got in your water bottle. Oh, but but this is what we don't say. Two-time <laughs> champion. It's an, it's an opinion. I wouldn't put Paul. I, I would put him in our top 75 of foreign players. I give him that. Speak about impact. Money. We got all the Europe coming over here. Um, He's one of those in the, uh, that way. Top 75, but it's your opinion. Yeah. I mean, we could. I mean, like we you really could get you, but it's all you, our opinion. You take them rings out of there, what is Paul Gasol done? I mean, take the rings out. No scoring champions, no defensive champion, no. Man, Jermaine O'Neal you knows better than I mean, so. what has Paul. I mean, yeah, overseas market. Probably top ten. Uh, but three. I, but, and I need, but you know, impact wise in the league. I I I I, I, <clears throat> I respect your decision because all our all all our choices have been opinionated. So Definitely. we ain't gonna climb you too hard, but damn, you could have said somebody else. <laughs> because <laughs> <But>, uh, <laughs> you gotta think, how many players in the NBA every year with four hundred something? Easily. Four hundred. Yeah. So and how many years have they been in the, in the 75. 75. 75 years? Four times 75, whatever it is, and you pick Paul Gasol. <laughs> and you Man, pick Paul he Gasol. Could've seen. Hey, he could have seen. I want as many Lakers in there as I can. You uh, could have seen Jamal Wilkes then. He was part of, <laughs> he was part of the championship <laughs> team. Man. 
Paul Gasol helped me talk shit, helped me win money, helped me oh, uh, I, I, with I, games. I, These I, top 75s to me, I, I ain't gonna, in my pocketbooks. So. Like your personal preference, I ain't gonna knock your personal preference. I ain't gonna knock that. But, um, um if I'm being real, Trace and Grady. It should be up here. Uh, they had the same conversation this morning. He was like, Grant Hill on steroids. He kind of like did everything. He uh, was one of my favorite players. I always wanted to see him and Kobe play together. Kind of like, see what that would look like. I have my different opinions. <laughs> that was a transition uh, era. Like from the, the passing of the torch from the new school to from the old school. Yeah, that was, that was a that really was like a transition. Yeah. They see cats a few years younger than us. They're like, oh, T-Mac would have uh, bust my ass. No, he wouldn't have. No, sir. No, he wouldn't have. Well, I'll tell you one thing to <laughs> make Jimmy happy. Wolves was going to draft and trade for, uh, was going to trade Scotty for T-Mac. Look, yeah, I almost, was, it was that I close. I was at the they, barber shop. They was for close him. for that and all that, but originally I had T-Mac. I was going to take T-Mac and all. Uh, you look at his prop, Hall of Fame, body of work is nice, injuries killed him. That's mm-hmm. the one thing that killed him, Grant Hill. It killed him. But if you look at all the great players, Kobe, the great players, not Kobe, Durant, no, LeBron, a lot of them always say, McGrady was one of the hardest people yeah. they had to guard. I, I can, and, I can. and for him to be 6'9", almost 6'10", long mm-hmm. arms, and the I way can, he was able um, to put it together, tough. I can respect that because, like you say, Amongst his peers, they his peers, that's the first thing they say, T Mac, T Mac. And um, I give it up to a player when your when your peers um, talk about how good you was. I think um, when I get with Michael Jordan with people and I tell them, man, listen to his peers, how they talk about mm-hmm. him, how they fear him. And when we have our debate about LeBron and Kobe, I say, guys don't fear LeBron, like they did Mike. I said, you got guys that'll call LeBron out. And um, they didn't call T Mac out. <laughs> T Mac, they didn't call T Mac out. T Mac was a born killer. So mm-hmm. I'll. Um, that Spurs game is. Let's get straight. We're going to end it all. What you talking about? <laughs> that Spurs we don't end it all. <laughs> you know, I wish, I wish that he would have got that ring when he was with the Spurs, though, but that Miami got lucky so, with the Ray yeah. Allen shot and, and all this that. Is how petty and I'm still petty. pissed about that. This too. is how petty I am, as much as I'm a Spurs fan. I like T Mac as a talent, but as a player, I thought he was selfish. I thought he only cared about numbers. I didn't think he cared about winning. Really? So when say that, that? I, 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 that's I my opinion. That I think he was one. I, me personally, I think he was a player. I got my thirty. I'm good. So you don't care about where. That's Especially the same time. That was going to be another exactly. one of my things. Uh, um, when saying? he went to James the Spurs, <laughs> when he Hart. went to the Spurs, I was pissed. But that was the end of his career. I yeah. was like, and they picked him up because they didn't even think body. he remember. I was like, they ain't gonna win. I'm like, he bad luck. They ain't gonna win. He bad luck. He don't get that first round. <laughs> so, um, you know, but I, as a talent, um, when he got to Orlando, the impact he made, um, I give him that. I give him that. <laughs> so I got a question to you. So, you know who they cut? You remember who they cut for T Mac? Who? Stack who Jack. That's why they like him. <laughs> That's why they like him. So you'd have kept Stack? Because I would have kept that because that run, I would have kept yeah. that. But that I don't run, know why they cut that him. Run, that, that, he was on all the smoke talking about that. Yeah, for that, run, long for that run, I remember, I remember that. that. For that run <clears> against <throat> Miami, I would have, and they probably would have won. Oh, yeah. Didn't he get hurt? Cause Stack wasn't hurt. Stack, I forgot Stack what happened hurt. with Stack and all of them. Somebody got hurt, and they ended up cutting Stack. I think they had just brought Stack back. Uh, Jan- uh, Popovich wanted Stack. To say like Ginobili was better than him, and he was like, "No, he not." And he was like, "As much as I love you, you know, Business I'm gonna let you go." Yeah. And they had already agreed to bring T Mac in. So let me see. Another Spurs dark horse. We could also bring up Ginobili. What? How <laughs> about? I like Ginobili. That's a dark horse. But if you put Gasol top seventy five. I think Ginobili is more he deserving <laughs> yeah. than Gasol. And, but Ginobili not a top 75 to me. And I am a Spurs 
fanatic. I've liked the Spurs ever since Game Seven of the ninety um, Eastern Conference Finals, the, the migraine game. Mm-hmm. I've been a Spurs fan ever since. But um, no, nah, Ginobili would be there. They took the hat when they drafted Duncan for me. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's when we'll I cut, we'll cut. Hey, Tim, what you got? <laughs> Look, right, as we was at the shop when the Spurs was at, and I used to tell them, he was like in high school, I'm like, we going to get the first pick. When when Dave, when Dave got hurt, I'm in the bottom shop, man. We finna get the first pick. We finna get Duncan. And we finna be rolling. <laughs> I became a Spurs fan that day. when I Oh, Duncan up? Oh, okay, yeah. Let me go get my jump. So we did chance. our phone, so okay. now it's just. All right, all right. Well, I, think I, I, it, I, I think it went kind of. I think it went good. Yeah, I think it went yeah, quick. Yeah, it was quick, though. Yeah, it went quick. It's, How long was that's that? That's why. That's what made me change. That was 22 minutes? But it's that what made, oh, that but that what made me change it to the format I mm-hmm. text y'all about. Because that's what I, I wanted it to go just like that. Mm-hmm. And we go, get what you get, boom. Riders, what you think? Mm-hmm. G.O., that's what it. you think? And. And we still talk. We was able to debate everything, our reason. We was able to clown G.O. You know, we, you know what I'm saying? We was just, you know, but we all was talking like. So I want to pose a question to y'all. Um, Clay Thomas. Thompson. Man, get your cool. A lot of people felt like he should have been on the top 75. I don't. But if, you, if, but that, but, but if, that's, what really? you, if that's who you want to bring in, because you said you're going to bring a dude. So if that's who you want. Say, but I want to add Clay. I want to take off. But I want to ask, you know what I'm saying? Well, we, yeah, that was, what want, that was, think, you want to that was the guy I was thinking. He got moments. I'm, oh, so that's what you I'm thinking you take to Steve podcast. out, and I'm thinking you put Clay. Steve you Nash? Get, you yeah. got to get another player because he says Steve Nash. He says Steve, okay. Uh, you got Russ? You got Russ? Uh, you got you Kuzi? Y'all got to stay away from Steve Russ, man. He take, Kuzi. somebody else said Damien. Reggie Miller? I done took Reggie. They know I done took Reggie. You took Reggie out? Reggie Miller? Why are you say it like that? Yeah. Oh, like you personally scored you. I don't like Reggie like he played against him. I don't like Reggie. This, this is real talk. He stepped on his loafers once I was <laughs> such, I was such a Michael Jordan fan. Anybody he went up against? Then other ops. I don't f*** Reggie. I don't f*** Nick. Well, I yeah, that's right. older. That's that. Zeke. Zeke. <laughs> Zeke oh, you know what? Zeke I got, you can. You can. You can argue. <laughs> I met the criteria. You can argue depending on what Zeke you're doing. Oh, man. You can argue him and Dennis Rodman because Luke was gonna take Dennis Rodman. Yeah, and I, yeah, I, yeah, I would take Dennis Rodman, Rodman because you look mm-hmm. at his body of work. Mm-hmm. Not even the top 25 and rebounding and so all. Even so though he had a bunch of years of rebounding. Wait, what? Yeah, look at it. Look at this. He's not only, in the top twenty five. He's only had like a, but like he top twenty five rebounds. Like, rebounds. He's not in that. No, he he like super, that surprised with, me. I was like, I, I was like eight, eight year window. Or yeah, he was. He was, it, top it was his last year, probably last two years with Detroit. His two years with the Spurs, then his three with. The well, Bulls. you take you you take his two years with the Spurs. He didn't really do much besides yeah, make a still, fool of himself. He still was averaging like seventeen. How many games he played with the Spurs? Yeah. I think second year, he I think played. he played. They, they was kicking played. second year. They was they was tired. Of the Wasn't year. he suspended more than anything up and down? Pretty much. <laughs> <suspension. laughs> like the Spurs suspension. years was like a blur. Like that's like when he played the Lakers and Dallas. Yeah, yeah. It was like whatever. He had two years. Like, with so we came to He had two years with the uh, Spurs. <laughs> and, you know, I, I like him better with Detroit than anything because he was he. Score. Well, he was he with played Detroit. defense. He was, he was, a, he was a dog. Like, like he I was out proud. there. Like hey, he, it, everything he got, he earned it out there. Well, he the Bulls, he just he, he was, was just what Draymond claimed. Yeah, right. that's basically what it was. I mean, you can't be mad. He had a point. He had a point. Oh, God, God, he had point. Yeah. <laughs> that's unheard of. And that hustle. He was in Detroit. Passed the putbacks. He was basically. He was the reason. for him to be only legit six, 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 seven. Yeah. 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 And out there playing with legit Damn. trees at that time, yeah. you playing against Patrick Ewan. Nice one. Oh, you playing against dudes that are actually uh, seven foot that stay in the paint at that time, and all that. And you out there getting rebounds? That's I crazy. Carl on, against Carl Malone, all that. Come on, man. That's, Tough. Man. that's crazy. Duncan Robinson. Yeah, <laughs> you playing against legit trees. <laughs> Well, the guard looked later when he was going. Sure. Why didn't we add nobody from the era we came up? There were so many people off that list. Alex English. Julian Wright. You know Alex English was my 
<laughs> didn't get you said met. Julian Wright up. Uh, look, me and him was in I high just, school together. I just, look, I, look, we see Julian Wright up at Cole Park. Yeah, she, Julian Wright from the same hood I'm from. <laughs> the whole Cole Fingles. Park and Tule Park all Alex the time. Fingles I'm hooping up there. They, 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 they don't get Alex English. You know, I was going to pick Bernard King. And I was like, yeah, there are people that would say, well, he didn't do that. He was always injured, but shit. Yeah, he wasn't. But when he, he wasn't, though, he was going to get buckets. Yes. He was T-Mac. Less athletic T-Mac. <laughs> when he was healthy, he was getting buckets. <laughs> Big buckets. He used to give 35 on Mike. He used to give Mike problems. That's like... You know, it's funny, me and Jimmy was talking about it too. Talking about like the younger kids nowadays, like your kids, like your sons and all that. They don't know the Ron Harper back in the 80s. <laughs> Before the knees went I'm out. Telling my how he was killing Jordan and all in them. Back in them Cleveland days. and Cleveland. They don't even know that, that Ron that, Harper. That set Cleveland back. If Cleveland don't trade Ron Harper, they the Bulls rivals for the 90s. Ron Harper. Because remember at first, Magic picked Cleveland to be the team of the 90s. But MJ saw different. Yeah, what he tell? He told his knees up when he went to Cleveland. Well, he went to the Clippers. 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 He still was putting up buckets over there. Yeah. yeah, he put up buck. He first year he put up numbers. Second year he tore his knee. Then the next year he became a free agent, and that's when the Bulls picked him up. And the field changed his whole game. Look, man, I don't need you. I need you to play this D. I need you to draw Penny Hardaway. That's all I need you to do. <laughs> He had a way of uh, getting his opponent, his best opponent, to play for him. Who? Yeah. Well, win, man. Just like when people go to New England. I know. Win, like, they put their ego to the side. Come play. And you get a chance to play that scouting, though, like, oh, he busting our ass. Let's, hey, man, we're talking about New England. Let's pick him up. We, 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 we did a good thing up there. I don't, I don't knock the cheaters, man. Ooh, yeah, oh, this Robin is number 23, do. actually, on the uh, rebound list. Bears Just barely. Look what a quarterback can do. $25. That's because Lamar wasn't even playing, though. So who would you Justin take off? Justin Fields wasn't playing. He even who, trained. Who would you take off? Uh, <laughs> Rich. No, no, I ain't the biggest Chris Paul fan. I know a lot of people. What? Know. what? Oh, oh, man. Come on. We're putting you in the same <laughs> bed of um, truck on. as Geo. Is this Lee was Chris Paul? <laughs> yeah, that is. Come on. I felt like last the finals was this time, man. He, he, he jagged. Damn, the Texas beat the Titans. It was a four game. Packers beat the Titans. After Derrick Henry went out, Ryan Tannehill is overrated. Damn, the Eagles beat the shit out of the Saints. Yeah, what's this? Just upsets. What you call it? Every week is upset week in the NFL. That like four. No, nah, the worst one was when Vegas called about two weeks ago, and everybody got upset. That's when uh, I think that's when uh, the Rams was on Monday night, and they got stomped by the Titans. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Last week was they got pumped. That's, that's all it was. They got pumped. Nah, man, was, Vegas made that call, man. That's what that was. Everybody damn, was Tim, like was that. so fast. We fuck around and can do another damn show. This shit was so fast. They don't want to do the second show. <laughs> the second the, show. The, the 33. What? About yeah. what? Uh, 33. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, say that for your sake. Yeah, say that for your sake. That 33. Boy, they know that's, that's. All right, that was a um, good discussion. You know, who we think should be off, who we think should be on, other than what Gio said. Um, <laughs> Y'all know, got for, love the team, man? For the crew, you know, this is Jimmy. On behalf of my boy Ralph, my boy Rodis, my boy Gio, my boy Tim, you know, thanks for checking us out. You know, look for another video coming mm-hmm. soon. We will do a video on number 33 for the Bulls. So keep that in touch. Keep 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 a lookout for that. So um, talking sports with the know-it-alls, we'll get back with you. Peace.